Hi everyone! This time we are going to learn a lot of ways that you can use to manipulate editable spline. I'm going to do it by creating this classic map. I'm also going to show you how to use alignment so it would be easier for you to draw. First we're going to create any box and then we're going to use it for our alignment base. Next we're going to create a box with the size of the headbed that we're going to make. 160 times 200 times 5. Now we're going to align it to the first box. First select the second box, click align, then choose the first box. Now decide which axis that you're going to align your object to. In this case we're going to align the Y position. And then decide at which point we're going to make the alignment. In this case, I want to align the minimum point of both boxes. Now delete the first box. We're going to create this bed space. Create, shape, line. To make sure that our line is in front of the box, we have to move the box behind this line. Hold shift to create a perpendicular line. If you want to cancel a line, just press backspace. Choose closed line. Now go to line. Then choose vertex. Vertex is these dots along this line. Just choose vertex that we want to change into a curve line. In the middle of this arrow, right click, then choose smooth. On the corner part, right click, change it into Bezier corner. In Bezier corner, we have these hands that we can use to control the direction of the curve. When we finish, click back line and then copy this line twice. Press G to hide this grid. Select the first line and then go to modifier, then extrude. If you use instance when you're copying the lines, all of the lines will be extrude. Click make unique. And then yes. Now we can move the extrude without affecting the first line. Now we're going to create this profile above the headband. For that, we can use loft. Go to segment. Then delete the unused lines. Now we're going to edit it a little bit so it will be a little bit longer, just like in the picture. Change it to corner. Then we're going to make the profile. It doesn't have to be precise. Move it to the right. Now adjust the width of the profile. We're going to mirror the profile. Then change it into editable spline. And then join this mirror line together. Use fuse and weld to join them. To use loft, first pick the path of the profile, go to create, back to solid, then choose compound object. 
then pick the shape. Now rotate the shape position. Right click here, then put in 90 degrees. Then raise the path steps value. Now align the path to the original line. But this part still not the same with the one on the picture. So we have to edit this a little bit. Using Bezier Corners handle. Click line. Copy this line. Extrude it by 100. Align this to our headband. To Z axis, which is the axis that's facing us. If we view it from the top, you can see that its center is aligned. Now we're going to subtract the lock with this profile. First we have to reverse the profile, then move it towards the profile. We're going to subtract the lock with the profile using boolean. To use boolean, I'd rather change this object first into editable mass. Then while selecting the lock, go to compound object, then choose boolean. Then pick Operant B, convert it to Editable Mesh again, now align it to the headband. Y position using pivot point, then Z position using center. Next create the pole. First make the profile using line. Edit the vertex. Go to modifier, pick latte, choose minimum. Now we can create the pole base using sweep. Create a rectangle about the size of a pole, about 5 times 5 centimeters. Then create the profile using line. Choose the rectangle and the profile, then Alt-Q to isolate the objects. Then go to Modifier, then choose Sweep. Adjust the position. Now select all of the objects that we've created, and then group it. This time we're going to mirror these objects using symmetry.
select all of the headband. Group it again. Give texture. You can add the bed from your library. And this is the result. Good luck!